Now look at our first white room. Adelie, what are you? No, stay back. Huh? I found this place by myself with my own powers. Please don't get involved. I'm going to find Triage. I'm going to use my power to find him. But why are you looking for Triage? Because, because I want you to look at me. I want you to see me, recognize me. What are you talking about? I'm looking at you right now. If you were, you never would have said what you said. What? What did I say to you? That I was too irritating. That you never want to see my face again. No. That was... Yes, it was. If you were actually seeing me, you never would have said that. I mean, he if still might have. No, you idiot! That's not it at all! I am an idiot! That's the way I am! That's why I got the wrong impression! I know better than anyone how much of an idiot I am! If you keep calling yourself an idiot, you'll become one someday! <sighs> oh, that can't be good. <sighs> Oh, that's very not good. Try edge. What are you, an Ida? Damn you. Say something already. I won't let you. You won't get away again. Give us back all of the lost ones! <laughs> Real question, do I have to do an actual battle or is this a pure epitaph battle? Oh, it looks like a regular ass battle. Cool. I'm okay with this. Let's rock and roll! I like the little cross attack I do, that's pretty dope. Oh, that was still Gale Blade, damn. That was not the move I was trying to do. Oh, 
Oh shit! Oh shit, what the hell is he doing? Oh, that doesn't look fun. Back up. Let's look at my health back up while I'm at it. Alright, Beast Awakening. Let's go! At least for this one, I think it'll be useful. Oh, he's dead. Did we do it? No. That'd be way too easy. Did he just drain arc the area? What? It fixed itself? Huh? How is that even possible? Watch out! He's coming! <clears throat> This looks like the Avatar space that we fight in. I mean, it's called Volume 1, so don't don't hope on that, Haseo. Ready? Come on. Come on! Yes! I'm right here! As your flame god. Which actually means several things if you remember anything about the previous game. But I'm gonna keep quiet on that on that remark.
There we go. Just gotta swing through the middle. Oh, this is the... say he's a little he's I think he's a little bit more of a pushover than Maha was I was gonna say it almost felt like I could just backstep out of those. What is that now? Oh, it's the data drain. more hits. There we go. Protect break. Gotcha. Finally. I guess I could have just waited for him to stop moving. That would have probably been the better option.
All right, I saved the world. I beat the game. Everyone returns to normal, right? Oh, wait, there's two more volumes. It's kind of kind of the problem with tension in games like this where it's like, oh, yeah, there's going to be a sequel. You look like you're having a bad time there, dude. Wait, no! First you have to tell me how to bring everybody back! Uh, Haseo. So I guess that means we have nothing then. I can't be good. Nope, that is in fact exceptionally bad. Feeling a deja vu. I bet Haseo is right about now. Adelaide! Now that is a hard cliffhanger. <laughs> God damn. I haven't I was gonna say, I don't think there's been a cliffhanger harder than that in Dot Hack since the end of the first, uh, the end of Infection where Kubia shows up. That was some hard cliffhanging. That was Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth. I mean, I don't know what else can I say about this aside from the fact that I really fucking like this over IMOQ. There's nothing wrong with liking IMOQ, but I definitely think they learned they took a lot and learned a lot from those games. Oh god. Excuse me. And applied it to uh and applied it to GU. GU is feels more like a thematic uh not thematic, but a an actual experience. It actually feels like there is way more character and way more, uh, way more going on here. Way more story. Way more character. We had a very small cast for a bit, and they all played their parts. And we know the minor cast that we've seen will probably show back up again later. They didn't try to bombard me with half a dozen like optional uh, characters I could go after, and I liked that. It gave them time to focus on the characters they had and develop them. It definitely feels way better in that regard. Also, the fighting system just feels way better. Epitaph battles in general feel like a good way to break up boss fights and whatnot. Everything feels like they took what they had from IMOQ and improved on it in every conceivable fashion. You may not like the more action-oriented... Uh, method that GU takes as opposed to IMOQ, which played, you could argue more like an MMO, but I'll be honest, I prefer this over the slow paced nature of IMOQ. And it's, like I said, it's easy to see why. Also, this felt like it had a definitive start and a definitive conclusion. It almost feels like it could be its own story in, in between. I don't feel like I'm missing a lot or that a lot of things haven't been answered. 
I mean, aside from the overall mysteries, but like there, there doesn't feel like there's any kind of like hard missing part. Like there was an IMOQ with like kite and black roses relationship. Like we actually got to see Haseo and Atalie's relationship, uh, grow and strain and fracture. Uh, and a lot of all the things that's, that's definitely what I can say. What I enjoy most of all about this is just that the characters are so much more deep. They have so much more actual character to them. Haseo, yes, is an unlikable prick, but he has his reasons for being an unlikable prick, and we see him evolve from that as time goes on and resurface from time to time. Like, definitely his moment where he uh, lashes, where he, like, struggles with himself and yells at himself to stop when he's beating the shit out of Kuhn is an indication of that. He's not a terrible person. It's just the only method he knows to achieve the goal he wants. And I look forward to seeing them evolve even more as we push on into Volume 2. But that's going to be it for now, guys. But we're not done with Volume 1 just yet. Got a few more optional stuff to take a look at. And until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta.
we in a really bad nightmare? Next time. The real me that should be looking at this Haseo that's on the screen is here. Sadness, doubt, this is failing to observe the effects of Ida's infection on players. Could there be any better place for Yes, this place is like Ida's observation room. Where are we? Lab rats? <laughs> because you tried to take that away from me. What is this? What do you expect from me? Get stronger. Consume all happiness and sadness. Use that as your stillness. Don't you want to know the truth? The truth? Yes. The reason why she knows the truth about Travis. I could Ida and the epitaph? In front of one epitaph, only a small Ida, a small truth will appear. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.